and welcome to Obsidian Soft. Today we will make a robot voice assistant app powered by GPT 3.5 Turbo, the latest free version of Chat GPT. GPT 4 is also here, but for that you need a paid subscription. I published a similar tutorial some time ago, but it was connecting to an older version of GPT. So you can say that this is an upgrade to the previous chatbot app. I will also be using a different GIF. This time a robot will be our front end with a robotic voice. What is your name? As an AI language model, I do not have a name. You can refer to me as Open Eyes Language Model or simply AI. How may I assist you today? Explain to a four years old why leaves are green. Leaves are green because they have something called chlorophyll in them. Chlorophyll helps the plant make food from sunlight and air. So, just like how we need food to grow and stay healthy, plants need chlorophyll to stay healthy and green. So let's begin. We first need to register an open AI account as this is the company that owns ChatGPT. So I will give the link in the video description. You will be asked to sign in or log in. Sign up first using the Google account. I already have an account. So I will just log in. But if you're using it for the first time, you need to provide some information and your mobile number where it will send a verification code and you will have to enter the code sent to you. Once you have signed in, click on API reference, then go to authentication and you need an API key. Go to the API keys page to generate your secret API key. Okay, generate your API key or if you have forgotten it, you can create a new secret key too. Copy and paste it on some text file on your computer and don't share it with anyone. Limited usage of GPT Turbo 3.5 is allowed. So if you allow anyone else to use your API key, you might end up finishing up your free usage quota. Another important thing, you will encounter errors if your chatbot was working initially but stops working after some time. This means that you have used up all your free credits. So if you want to use the app more or publish it to Google Play Store, then purchase some billing plan from OpenAI, okay? Now download the continuous speech recognition extension from this link. I will give all these links in the video description. Remember that we used this extension when we made our hands-free continuous listening voice operated flashlight app. You need to log in to download. Don't worry, Cordula is a safe website. Log in using Google and then download this AIX file. So if I go down, download this AIX file, okay? okay so I've downloaded the extension. Now we also need a GIF of a talking robot. So if I just search on Google for a talking robot GIF, I can find a robot of my liking. So I'm going to use this one. And as you can see, it's mouth moves, it's animated. So I'm going to use this. So just right click on it and save the image. Now, if I look at this, it's a little too big for our app. So I'm going to also reduce its size by using my go-to website for working with GIFs, which is ezgif.com. And if I click on resize and I choose my GIF file, which I just downloaded, upload, and then I'm going to reduce it by a percentage, which is 70 and resize the image. So it has been resized and I'm just going to click on save and rename it again to robot talking. So this is now resized and I also want the still version of this image. 
so I can split it into its frames okay and I'm just going to click on split to frames and I'm going to click on the first image the first frame of this GIF and save it as robot still dot GIF okay so its size has been reduced by 70% and we got the still image using easygif.com. Okay. Now open up MIT App Inventor, click on projects, start a new project. Let's call it chatbot. For screen one, make a line horizontal center, a line vertical center, make the screen orientation portrait. Upload the media, the two GIF files, the robot still, robot talking. Now from user interface, drag and drop a web viewer. This is for displaying GIF files. Drag and drop a button, rename to speak button. Make the background color orange, font bold, font size 20, shape is rounded and the text on it says speak. Now upload the extension, the speech recognizer extension without the Google speech dialogue, okay? So import the extension. It has been imported. Now drag and drop it here so that the component is also added. Now we are going to go with the default settings I do not want the continuous recognition feature of this extension. I just don't want the Google speech dialogue to show every time I speak to my robot. Also, from media, drag and drop a text to speech component. And I'm going to optionally make the pitch 0.5 and the speech rate 0.8 to give a more robotic voice to my voice assistant. And last but not the least, from connectivity, we need to put a web component too, okay? Which we will be using to contact with our OpenAI servers. So let's go now to the block section and we are going to first make a global variable. This is chat response. And this is an empty block in the beginning. We are going to write some code for our screens initialization when the app is started for the first time. So when screen one dot initialize, I am going to first of all, make sure that my robot still GIF is being shown. So I'm going to click on web viewer and call this and give the address of my robot still dot jeff so write this very carefully it says http colon slash slash local host robot still dot jeff now make sure that here in the media it's exactly spelled the same way. Otherwise, this will not work. So robot still dot chef, robot still dot chef. Okay. So this is the way of showing animated GIFs in MIT app inventor that you use a web viewer. Okay. And now we're also going to ask for permission for microphone. So if I click on screen one, I have this permission procedure call. So ask for permission for audio okay 
So this is important. Let's me clean up my code. Okay. Now write the speak button code. So click on speak button and get its click event. And we are going to call our extension speech recognizer to get text. Okay. Now you need to download two blocks of codes from my Google Drive for communicating with GPT servers. Okay. So I will give the link in the video description. So I'm just going to download it. So this is the code for sending your question or query to GPT. This is for GPT 3.5 Turbo. Okay. So I'm just going to download it. Okay. And I also need to get this other code block for understanding the response and interpreting the response from GPT. Okay. So I'm just going to download that too. And what you have to do is that wherever you have downloaded it, just drag and put it here. Okay. So see the code is here now and the other one too. And let me clean up my code. So everything is aligned properly. Now, what you have to do, very important, what you have to do is that you have to provide your API key. Now, right now at this point, the code block that you will get from my Google Drive, it will not have the API key. You have to plug in yourself. Otherwise, your app will not work. Okay. So make sure that you change it. Okay. Now, click on speech recognizer and get its after getting text event. So this is the result that is whatever the user has spoken to the chatbot. Okay. And we have to send this result to the chat GPT servers. So I'm going to call my procedure this and I'm going to give it the result. Okay. And in response, if everything goes well and we have some free credits too left in our account, we will get a positive response from the web and we will interpret it and then our robot will be changed to the talking GIF file and it will also speak whatever response has been received from the chat GPT servers. Last but not the least, we have to use this text to speech after speaking event to put our GIF back to the still robot. Okay. So I can duplicate this one and make this instead of robot talking, I'm going to make it robot still. Another important thing is that you got this code block, this web.got text from my Google Drive. So make sure that if you have named your GIF file differently, then please update this. Okay. So I have named it robot talking. So this will work. But if you have named it something else, it will not work. Now this is done. Have fun exploring chat GPT with the help of our cute robot assistant. Unfortunately, this will not work on an iPhone. So test it using Android. And this will work perfectly fine using the companion app. But if you want to install it, you need to edit the APK file to make it work with advanced version of Android because of the no Google speech dialogue extension that we are using here. So for that, you can even use the built in speech recognizer extension. So you could have used this built in component instead of this extension. But I feel that the Google dialog sort of takes away the fun factor from our chatbot. It always pops up whenever you have to talk with your chatbot. So I thought that we should do away with that. Okay. So for that, you need to edit your APK file. And I have taught the entire process in my voice flashlight app. And I will actually tell you the time from which you should start watching to edit your APK file to work with advanced versions of Android. So do follow that process by going through that chapter of my voice flashlight app to find how you can edit your APK file and install it on advanced versions of Android. 
If your app was working before but suddenly stops working, then it means you have run out of free credits of ChatGPT. Again, as I said to you before, that ChatGPT, this Turbo 3.5, it's free for limited usage and the GPT-4, the latest version, unfortunately, you need to pay for that. Okay, you need a, a membership for that. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to share it with your friends and family and subscribe to my channel if you like my work. Thank you for watching. Have a good day and goodbye.